Welcome to this series on mastitis in dairy cows brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. This video is the introduction. Mastitis is a global problem that affects milk producers all over the world. From large intensive dairy farms with high producing Holstein cows to smallholder farmers milking sheep or goats for the family. Mastitis costs milk producers a lot of milk and money. The ill cows produce less milk, the treatment costs money, the milk is thrown away, and the biggest loss is in the reduced future production from the damaged udder. What is mastitis? Mastitis is the infection of the milk producing gland, the udder. Bacteria invade the teat end via the teat canal and cause an infection. Mastitis is a fight between bacteria invading the udder and the cow fighting the infection. Mastitis can be caused by many different types of bacteria, but they are usually defined in two categories, contagious and environmental mastitis. Contagious mastitis caused by specialist bacteria that colonize the udder skin. These are passed from cow to cow on hands, on clothes, and on other milking equipment, or by calves cross-suckling. Environmental mastitis caused by bacteria from bedding, manure, flies, and unhygienic conditions. Flies are attracted to the teat ends, to manure and to rotting material, and will transfer bacteria from whatever they have been feeding on to the teat end causing mastitis. Fly control using local fly control methods is important. We see mastitis as the other response to the infection. The milk changes becoming watery with clots and sometimes blood. If the mastitis is severe, the udder is hard, swollen and painful. The cow can run a fever and be ill. However, it is important to remember that most infections are not seen. The bacteria can invade the teat end and the cow fights the infection and the bacteria are cleared from the udder without any outward signs. Any infection, whether seen or not, can still damage the milk glands, producing scarring and tiny areas of infection. This damage is often not visible but reduces production. The cow fights the infection with the white blood cells. This fight the infection and appear in the milk as high somatic cell count, also referred to as SCC. Milk with a high SCC does not keep as well. It has reduced shelf life. In milk which has, ha has high SCC, the protein and the fats break down more quickly, so it is not as good for making dairy products like butter, yogurt and cheese. High SCC has more bitter tastes and is less acceptable to consumers of milk and the milk products made from it. Farmers with large herds can record mastitis and compare how many of their cows are getting infected and check the somatic cell count in the milk as an indication of the cows fighting infection. It is difficult for smallholders to do this as mastitis is sporadic and the cost of testing is spread over only a few cows. But all dairy farmers need to pay attention to the hygiene practices that reduce the number of bacteria that are around the teat and reduce the number of infection that this bacteria can cause. Bacteria like warm, moist, dark and dirty conditions. 
Bacteria do not like clean environments as there is no food for them. They do not like dry, sunlight, or detergents and antiseptics. Environmental mastitis will be most common in cattle housed in humid, dirty conditions. In dry and arid conditions, the more common type of mastitis is contagious mastitis. Older cows are more likely to have contagious mastitis because they have more opportunity to acquire infections. So how do farmers reduce the number of bacteria on the teats and stop the spread of contagious specialist adder bacteria?